Good morning. How are you? Here we are. Well, Telangana set scheduled on 13th March 2023. We thought we will give you a set of very important questions. So here I am and don't you worry, Kalyani ma'am bhi aa rahi hai to help you with that last minute preparation. Obviously, tayari aapne kar li hai, lekin revise karwane ke liye concepts for Telangana set. Kalyani ma'am is, is going to start a video soon. When? Well, Keep on coming to our channel, okay? And for right now, I have got 15 question answers. I will explain you. These are important works, important authors. Questions around them can come, okay? So shall we begin? Question number one on your screen. Under the banyan tree is A, a collection of poems by Jayant Mahapatra. B, a collection of one act plays by Mahesh Dattani. C, an anthology of essays by C.D. Narasimha or D, a collection of short stories by R.K. Narayan. Under the banyan tree, kya hai? It is option D, a collection of short stories by R.K. Narayan. To be precise, 28 stories based in and around Malgudi. They are rich and colorful heritage of Malgudian days. Okay, Malgudi, you know, is a fictitious town which was created by R.K. Narayan, prolific Indian writer. R.K. Narayan was a prolific Indian writer. He wrote so much and he lived from 1906 to 2001. Okay. Now, the last tale, which means the 28th story of this collection, is called Under the Banyan Tree. Okay, Under the Banyan Tree is the last tale, which talks about a storyteller who has taken a vow to remain silent for the rest of his life. Malab unone monvrat le liya hai, this storyteller, and that is the last tale of Under the Banyan Tree and other stories. Did you get it? Easy. Let's move on to question number two. Which of the following is not a reader response critic? Okay, not a reader response critic. A, Stanley Fish. B, Wolfgang Aisha. C, Jack Derrida. Or D, Jane Tompkins. But if you odd one out, bhi karoge na, so you will get the answer. Because Derrida, you know, is connected with deconstruction. Derrida, deconstruction. So that is the odd one out. He is not related. The answer is C which means Fish, Aisha, and Tompkins. They all are reader response critics. And I hope, I'm sure you know, reader response theory focuses on the reader and the audience, not on the writer. It focuses on the experience of the reader while reading and not the experience of the writer while writing. Okay? Question number three on your screen. Which Caribbean writer reinterpreted Shakespeare's The Tempest? And the characters of Prospero and Caliban in terms of personal identity and Caribbean history. Okay, so which Caribbean writer has basically reinterpreted Tempest by Shakespeare? Your options are A. Carol Phillips, B. Wilson Harris, C. V. S. Naipaul, or D. George Lamming. Tell me. It is by option D, George Lamming, in his work, The Pleasures of Exile. Well, The Pleasures of Exile is a collection of essays which was published in the year 1960, okay? And it defines the position of West Indies in a post-colonial world by reinterpreting the Tempest. And I know, you know who George Lamming is, right? Here he is, young George Lamming, old George Lamming. Well, he is was, is, whatever. I mean, he's not with us anymore, but he's a bar barbarian novelist who lived from 1927 to 2022. Yes, just last year he passed away. And The Pleasures of Exile, you can see the cover here on the screen. Cool? Yes? Okay, let's move on to question number four. For which of the following works, Jonathan Franzen won the National Book Award in 2001. Look at Jonathan Franzen on the screen first. Well, he's an American novelist, born in 1959. He is aged 63. So tell me which work of his won the National Book Award in 2001. Your options are A, How to Be Alone, B, The Discomfort Zone, C, The Corrections, or D, Oryx and Crake. 
The answer is option C, the corrections, okay? Now, you have to know this corrections is a satirical family drama of 2001, which talks of a family whose family name is Lambert's. So Lambert's family consists of mummy, papa, and three children. Their troubled life, their last Christmas together, okay? It is spoken about and... Uh, it, it, this family is very traditional. It's very orthodox, a Midwestern American family. And the problems that they face is spoken about in the corrections, which got the National Book Award in 2001, written by Jonathan Franzen. Easy, easy. Let's move on. Question number five. The Oxford English Dictionary was conceived in 1858. When was it published? A, 1928. B, 1904. C, 1936, or D, 1919? It is option A, 1928. You know, the full dictionary was published in 10 volumes. That is the first edition. And if you think this is less, the second volume was published with, the second edition was published with 20 volumes. 10 volumes, 20 volumes, edition one, edition two. So Oxford English Dictionary, you know, is a historical dictionary of the English language, which means it traces the historical development of the English language. Okay, easy. Let's move on to question number six. Who said the creative writer does the same as the child at play? He creates a world of fantasy, which he takes very seriously. Your options are A, Simon Freud, B, T, S, Eliot, C, S, T, Coleridge, or D, Carl Jung. It is option A, Simon Freud in his essay, Creative Writers and Daydreaming of 1908, which was later republished in his anthology, The Freud Reader. Okay, I will explain you. It is very easy. Basically, Freud said about writing fiction, he said that whenever a child is sitting to play, he behaves very seriously. The child behaves like a creative writer, okay? Because he creates a world of his or her own, this child. Now, from the child, Freud comes to a creative writer. He says, just like the child, the creative writer also takes his writing very seriously. He creates a world of fantasy, okay? And the writer invests large amount of emotion, okay? Large amounts of emotion by separating the work sharply from reality. Uh, that is what Simon said about writing fiction. Okay, easy, easy. Let's move on to question number seven. Exterminate the brutes is the operative colonial line from the novel. A, heart of darkness. B, no longer at ease. C, a passage to India. Or D, the jungle book exterminate the brutes it is from option a heart of darkness and who spoke these lines Kurtz. who is Kurtz? he's a man who dealt with ivory business in this novella this novella is written by joseph conrad let's talk about conrad he was a polish british novelist who lived from 1857 to 1924 okay and heart of darkness this novel depicts the imperial role or the imperial rule of Europe in Africa. The major characters of Heart of Darkness are Kurtz, I just told you, and Marlowe. Okay, easy. Let's move on to question number eight. All the best for your Telangana set exam. And listen, I hope you're practicing the set questions that you have opted for because as you know, test starts with practice questions of all the set exams across India. Abhi North East Ka is also starting and Telangana's practice question set, it started before, but the ones who had opted for this course, who had bought this course, I hope that they are practicing the questions. Okay, please believe me, these questions will help you a lot. Okay, Aage bade. question number eight. Whom does Eliot call the central personage of the wasteland? A, Tiresias, B, Eurydice, C, Orpheus, or D, Apollo. Central personage, matlab, central character of the wasteland is option A, Tiresias. Q, tell me why is he the central figure in the wasteland? For three reasons. First, 
he is blind. Second, he is bisexual. Third, he has the gift of prophecy and immortality. Okay, Tiresias, you know, is a mythological character and T.S. Eliot specially got him as a major character in the wasteland. And what is the wasteland? You know it. It is a 434 line only modernist poem by Eliot, which was published in the year 1922. And Eliot is an American born British novelist, a poet, you know, poet. Novelist also, but primarily a poet. So Eliot is born in America, but he became a British national and he lived from 1888 to 1965. Easy, easy. Let's move on to question number nine. Who was the first African-American woman to receive the Nobel Prize for Literature? First African-American woman to receive Nobel Prize. A. Alice Walker, B. Toni Morrison, C. Maya Angelou, or D. Zora Neale Hurston? Tell me, tell me. It is option B. Toni Morrison. Look at her on the screen. Well, Toni's real name is not Toni. It is Chloe. C-H-L-O-E. Chloe. She lived from 1931 to 2019. And she got the Nobel Prize. Why? Because her novels, in her novels, she gave life to the aspects of American reality. Okay? Now tell me fast. Tony's first novel. It is The Bluest Eye, published in 1970. Okay? 10th question ki tara. Here it is. The famous novella, The Death of Ivan Illich, is written by... The Death of Ivan Illich is by... A. Dostoyevsky, B. Tolstoy, C. Balzac, or D. Gorky. Tell me. It is option B. Leo Tolstoy, a Russian writer. Look at him on the screen. He is Leo, okay? He lived from 1828 to 1910. He never wrote in any other language. All his works were in Russian language, and they were later published, or they were later translated into another languages. Let's talk about his novella, The Death of Ivan Illich. It was published in 1886. It talks about a judge, his suffering, and ultimately his death. And the central character, or the central character is, of course, Ivan Illich. The central theme of this novella is death and denial of death. Death because it talks of the suffering of Ivan. Denial of death is because the people who come for his funeral, they act as if death will not come to them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, a fact, a fun fact. Leo Tolstoy had 13 children and of course with one wife, okay? He was married one time and they had 13 kids. Tera bachche ek saath, badiya yaar. Let's move on, question number 11. Pebbles on the Shore, a collection of essays was written by A. William Hazlitt, B. E. V. Lucas, C. A. G. Gardiner or D. Robert Lind. Pebbles on the Shore is by option C, Alfred George Gardiner. Well, he was an English author who lived from 1865 to 1946. He wrote this collection of essay Pebbles on the Shore, which consists of different essays. For example, on choosing a name, on letter writing, on falling in love, on the philosophy of hats, etc. Easy. And you have to know this. You think, what is the alpha of the plow? Kya hai? Actually, A.G. Gardiner wrote with the name Alpha of the Plow, which means the brightest star of the constellation. So if a question comes, who is Alpha of the Plow? Okay, it is A.G. Gardiner. What is the meaning of Alpha of the Plow? It is the brightest star of the constellation. Okay, question number 12. I know why the caged bird sings is an dash by Maya Angelou. A, a novel. B, poem, C, short story, or D, autobiography. Tell me. I know why the caged bird sings is an autobiography by Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou was an American poet and a civil rights activist who lived from 1928 to 2014. And I have to tell you, she wrote not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven autobiographies. <laughs> seven autobiographies. Kehte hai ki hum to 
लाइफ की किताब के एक पन्ने हैं वे लाइक जस्ट वन पेज और वन चैप्टर यू नो ऑफ द बुक ऑफ लाइफ दिस लेडी हैज रिटन सेवन बुक्स अबाउट हर सेल्फ कैन यू इमेजिन माया आपकी माया अपरंपर है वॉट अपरंपार है राइट यू नो आई रियली थॉट आई टेल यू द नेम ऑफ ऑल दी सेवन आउट ऑफ बायोग्राफीज यू शुड नो first you know is i know why the caged bird sing second is gather together in my name third is singing and swinging and getting merry like christmas fourth is the heart of a woman fifth is all god's children need are traveling shoes okay and uh, sixth is a song flung up to heaven and seventh and last is mom and me and mom these are the seven autobiographies of maya angelo let's move on to question number 13 a history of english language teaching is authored by a anthony p r howat b christopher brumfit c d a wilkins or d david crystal tell me a history of english language teaching is by option a anthony p r howat well he's a retired lecturer in applied linguistics at the university of edinburgh so born in 1938 he's 84 years old now anthony p r howet he's a british national and his book a history of english language teaching was published in 1984 first it traces the history of english language teaching second it speaks about the origins of communicative speech and third it ends with impact of applied linguistics on language teaching in america and britain both okay so howet wrote a history of elt published in 1984 question number 14 an ambassador is an honest person who lies abroad for the good of his or her country identify the figure of speech here okay ambassador is honest person who lies abroad for the good of his country what figure of speech is your a paradox b metaphor c irony d pun say it is option d pun kya hota hai pun well pun suggest different meanings of a single word different meanings of a single word here the word is lies okay abhi aap sochenge lie ka matlab kya hota hai a person who lies abroad lie ka matlab jhoot bolna bhi hota hai lie ka matlab letna bhi hota hai lie ka matlab rehna bhi hota hai yahan pe lie ka matlab hai rehna to stay basically an ambassador the government official he stays in another country for the good of his or her own country that is what this statement says but then lies ke itne sare matlab hai that this statement is a pun okay easy and last question of the day for telangana set here on your screen the parable of the lost daughter luke 15 is to 11 32 is a translated short story based on the parable of the prodigal son in the bible which dalit woman writer wrote this story in telugu a jajula gauri b gogu shyamala c चलपल्ली स्वरूपा रानी और डी एम एम विनोदिनी डोंट मेक इट कंफ्यूजिंग जस्ट टेल मी हु इज द यू नो ट्रांसलेटर ऑफ द पैरेबल ऑफ द लॉस्ट डॉटर लाइक हु इज द ऑथर सॉरी हु इज द राइटर ऑफ द पैरेबल ऑफ द लॉस्ट डॉटर व्हिच इज अ ट्रांसलेटेड शॉर्ट स्टोरी फ्रॉम द बाइबल यस दैट इज द क्वेश्चन सो हु हैज रिटन द पैरेबल ऑफ द लॉस्ट डॉटर it is option d m m we know the need look at her on the screen that is the only chota photo that i could find on google of hers m m we know the need she is an associate professor at a university in andhra pradesh and if we talk about this the parable of the lost daughter this talks about the identity crisis okay and it is a sub version of this biblical story called as the parable of the prodigal son okay easy and we're done for today i will be back soon kalyani ma'am will be here to help you with the langana said do not miss her lectures because they are so precious right this is heena from team test we wish you all the best for all the set exams that are coming abhi to line se honge set exams right all the best enjoy chill read consistently life is beautiful your plan is also great bye bye